Yeah, Hi, so I'm Bob Thorne and uh, I run Bob's Bits which is here in uh, Watford. Bob's Bits as a company came about in the early 90s and where I was collecting props, mostly aircraft bits and pieces, dressing uh, for making the games for the Crystal Maze. And then one of the freelancers that I was working with went on to do a film. I think it was the first film at Leavesden when it had just ceased to be Rolls Royce and it, was, it became a studio and it was Mortal Kombat and they were doing some androids. And he said, oh, can we have, you know, can we buy some of your bits to uh, dress our androids with? It was all cables and just knobs and bits of fancy bits and pieces. And, and that sort of started it off. The next film that went in there was Star Wars, episode one of Star Wars was, I've been, I've, I've been involved in this the Star Wars from Empire Strikes back oh. on, onwards uh, I mean my stuff was inside uh, Darth Vader's set when they took it w w did the reveal all my bits inside it uh, was dressed and some of the the um, lightsabers had my bits on supplying the prop side of thing it was episode one two and three so two and three were done in Australia and they still bought all the stuff from me and shipped it out there and then seven, eight, nine were done, and then the, the extra one. So, you know, as they went on, I got more and more involved and, and uh, provided quite a lot uh, for them. Spaceship panel, these are all panels from the, copied from the International Space Station. Yes, and these can get hired out as individual items, yep. and they all sort of flash up and light up as they would, you know. That's right, they're 19-inch they're, they're, uh, rack standard size. Yeah. Uh, and, we, and we regularly just send them out as individual panels and people build them into their own uh, things. Some productions, they, you know, they'll use them like that. But you can see they, they had a, like a filler in between. So what was the board yeah. this had been off in the first place? This, this was from uh, Life which was set on the International Space Station. This was from the Russian section. We've got two of these uh, panels. So they, these came out of a power station in Kent. And um, we've got quite a few, you know, multiple, you can see there's sort of 10 of them, three of them. So we've got 14 of them, four of them. So we keep the backup ones in one of our lockups, uh, just up the back, a mile up the road. Uh, so we can whip up and get them, because we haven't got the space. We, I'd love to put them all out there. More CCTV yeah. cameras as well. <laughs> no, got coming out of areas. Yes. Uh, we've got over 800 CCTV cameras. Oh, wow. Uh, and there's all the empty, empty spaces that you see, they're all cameras <laughs> that are out there. From the early 80s I was a special effects uh, technician and, and eventually became a, a, a supervisor. And I did go, for, for a spell I did animatronics. I, I did the film The Witches as, as special effects and then uh, Jim Henson's Creature Shop were doing the creatures on it. And so they, they said, would I go and work with them? So I did. Uh, the some of the Jim Henson Hour stuff. I did the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the first two of those, and, and a few other films. And, and a lot of people don't realise that his, his workshops were actually in the UK. In Hampstead, yeah, originally in Hampstead, and then the neighbours complained about the smell from all the latex uh, smells, and uh, so he bought a place. In fact, he, he died, and his son bought a place in um, uh, just up up the road in Camden. Um, they stored everything. They paid for a like a, a temperature controlled storage unit, and they kept all the all stuff going back. Don't no dark crystal, and they had all everything. Uh, I remember because we got it all out when they when Jim Henson died, and we did a memorial uh, service uh, for him, and they just everything was bought out, and uh, they kept a lot. And then I went back to special effect. Then I went to uh, Artem. Uh, I was a supervisor at Artem for quite quite a few years, and and then I set up uh, uh, a special effects company uh, down the road, Anarchy. Uh, but I retired from that a couple of years ago, and uh, just concentrate on on the Bob Spitz. Uh, so these are pitot tubes off of the aircraft. This is the bit they get, get them on the tail and the wings and everything, and it it, it, it takes wind speed and uh, drift. Oh. It, they can detect that. So they're they're quite a nice looking. Yeah. So that's actually that would be a, a that's a sensor, is it? And it that is. Can, that's exactly oh. that. Yeah. It is. They call it a pitot tube. Ooh. Is this more this international is, space station this stuff? This is all uh, space cargo. Oh. So we've got. About 180 okay. of these. They're, they're all f filled with foam. But, you know, these robot arms and uh, uh, all sorts of this little uh, robotic, like 3D printing kind of uh, robot arm. 
So does he move in some way then, or is it? Yeah, it just it's, a, it's, oh. it's programmable. You know, it it, it, it sort of it, it it goes around. In fact, it's got a, a grabber on it, so it's it's meant to pick and place. And again, it's the sort of level of detail that you go into it, and all these sort of components that come off of. That must be off of some kind of pump or something, or yeah, it looks like yeah. A I, think, I, think I think you're right. The other bits, these are like medical tool <coughs> component parts. Yeah. Same, same, same as that that kind of thing. Uh, that's a kind of like a Tommy gun kind of a looking yeah. futuristic retro kind of a look. My nephew Barry runs all the uh, all the prop side of, of things. My sister Carol does all the, the financial control, all the, you know, keeping a track on everything. I, I picked an, an area pretty much without treading or trying not to tread on other people's toes. There's um, film medical services, for example. So I, I have a bit of medical and scientific equipment, but uh, I don't go out of my way to, uh, to do it because there's no point someone else does it. Huge thank you to Bob there for allowing us to film at his warehouse. Uh, if you would like to know more about the business, there is a link to the website in the video description. Uh, if you enjoyed that, found it interesting, then please give us a like, consider subscribing, leave a comment with any feedback. Um, I'd love to hear off viewers. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much and goodbye.